Shalom, my name is Michael Decker and I am a lawyer within the law offices of Cohen, Decker, Pex and Brosh. Today I wanted to discuss about a topic that is becoming much more relevant now for many Israelis and also non-Israelis that are either Sephardic Jews themselves or Jews that are descendants of Sephardic Jews or non-Jews that are descendants of Sephardic Jews. Many of the applications that were submitted have already been approved. So already now there are thousands and thousands of new Portuguese citizens that obtain citizenship in Portugal as descendants of Sephardic Jews that were expelled from Spain and Portugal in 1492 and 1497. Um, many of these people have spouses and children. And the question now arises, how does the spouse and how do the children also naturalize in, and get citizenship in Portugal. So regarding children, uh, there is a, a test of, of proving a connection to Portugal. And the more the child is young, the burden of proof uh, of connection to Portugal is less. And the more the child is older, the burden of proof is heavier naturally. So when a child is very young and he doesn't know how to talk even, there is no way to prove a connection between him and any country or culture or whatnot. And, uh, and naturally, uh, it's much easier for a child that's very, very young to get uh, citizenship in Portugal uh, without proving any connection. The older the child gets, the more uh, 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 the burden of proof uh, of proving connection uh, becomes higher. Uh, our uh, advice, actually, to children that are above 15 is, is, is even to wait until if they don't know Portuguese and they don't have any knowledge about the history of Portugal, is to wait until they're 18 and apply separately as independent individuals, as descendants of, descendants of Sephardic Jews themselves. However, this law might change. And if this is the case, then it is actually worthwhile to apply already now. Uh, and to try to learn uh, about Portugal, to learn a little Portuguese, and to try to prove connection to Portugal if you're above 15, let's say. Um, uh, regarding spouses of Portuguese citizen, uh, citizens, uh, if the couple has minor children together, then the spouse is eligible for Portuguese citizenship without living in Portugal and without um, even visiting Portugal, the spouse can get the, the passport at the Portuguese embassy in the country where he lives because he's a spouse of a Portuguese citizen and the parent of a Portuguese citizen. Um, however, um, and this, by the way, also applies whether the couple is married or, or, or even just living together within a common law relationship. It applies on same-sex couples and it applies on uh, couples of different sexes. Um, uh, if the, the, the couple does not have minor children, however, then they will need to live in Portugal for 18 months and only then the non-Portuguese spouse will be able to naturalize in Portugal and get a Portuguese passport. Um, I hope that this information was clear and we're happy to assist you through the process and we're happy to answer any question you might have on this matter. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.